Okay, so first thing is that we shuffle the cards using a sloppy shuffle, which means basically making it sort of chaotic deck where you, know, you put top any amount of top on bottom, bottom on to the top. You could do just a few cards, single cards. To bring from the bottom to the top and then to the middle you could even take from the bottom of the pack here put it onto the top here and take a bunch from the top put it on the bottom bottom to the top top to the bottom etc And we square up the pack. And we ask our spectator to select any card that they want. Totally free will, whatever they decide, that's their card. So let's say they choose this one here. We'll take this, we'll put it here. And the funny thing is no matter what card they pick, the, the matching card, which is same number and the same color, will always be exactly in the middle of the pack. So that's 26 uh, cards from either end, either bottom or the top. For example, in this one, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this card right here is the middle of the pack. It's a five of diamonds. That means that this card, the matching card, will be a five of hearts. So, now the person might say, well, but if it's always showing up in the middle, what happens if I picked a totally different card? So, put these back. And I pick not only a different card, but I also ask you to shuffle before you go to the middle of the pack. So now I say, okay, well, let's try again. You pick another card, say this one. And then you want to then have the person shuffle the cards so that this card, the, the matching card, won't be in the middle. Well, you can, you can help by just saying, tell them to stop. Say here. Okay, tell them to stop. Okay. Okay, let's see if we cut the card that way. Or we can actually cut it like a pyramid. Right. And just take top to bottom, top to bottom. So now we go and count 26 from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 23, 24, 25, should be 26 if I count it correctly. Eight of hearts. Eight of diamonds. Matching card. And what's even more freaky is that this eight of hearts, which is 26 cards from either side of the deck, splitting the deck exactly in half, actually made each half identical to the other. So that not only was it the magical 26 being the, the number of the creator, but actually always happens that it's in the middle of the deck 
and the other side of the deck is exactly synchronized and identical to the other hand even though we'd already shuffled it a bunch of times we still all the way through are consistently synchronized and that's true no matter what card the person selects interesting 